Bud 16V747. Also known as the Big Bud 747, this Colossal is a large custom-made farm tractor built in Havre, Montana in 1977. The tractor was designed for the Rossi Brothers, cotton farmers in Bakersfield, California, and was used for deep ripping. They owned and operated the 16V747 for 11 years. It was billed as the world's largest farm tractor and is about twice the size of many of the largest production tractors in the world. The Big Bud measured 27 feet long, 20 feet wide, and 14 feet tall. The tires were specially made by United Tire Company of Canada and are 8 feet in diameter. It is capable of pulling an 80-foot cultivator, tilling an acre a minute, and deep ripping 20 acres per hour. The tractor is equipped with a Detroit diesel V16 engine, initially generating 760 horsepower and later tweaked to 960 horsepower with a rumor red capability of up to 1100 horsepower. Currently, the Big Boot is on display at the Heartland Museum in Clarion, Iowa, and was retired after the Williams Brothers changed to no-till operations. Balaz 75710 The Balaz 75710 is a 496 ton capacity monster, and it's been estimated to be as long as two double-decker buses parked end-to-end -end and heavier than a fully loaded Airbus A380 passenger plane. Just in case you're wondering how this behemoth moves, the Balaz has a total of eight paired wheels with each tubeless pneumatic tire capable of supporting 102 tons which astonishingly carries the Balaz bulk of 350 tons while empty. In addition to whatever load of precious metals you mined, it also has a dual-motor MMT 500 drive system, which means that you get the power of two 65-liter MTU, 16-cylinder 4, stroke V-shaped diesel engine. These engines make use of a patented AC-powered electromechanical transmission to provide a staggering 4,600 horsepower pushing the BLAS to a top speed of 40 miles per hour. Bagger 293 Also known as the Mantokraf RB293, this giant bucket wheel excavator is used for open pit mining and was made by the German industrial company Takraf, formerly an East German Kombinat. It is one of the largest terrestrial vehicles in the world, standing at 315 feet tall, with an overall length of 738.2 feet and a weight of 31.3 million pounds. In operation, the Bagger 293 uses a large 70-foot rotating wheel at the end of a long arm. This wheel has a series of buckets attached, and as the wheel rotates, the bucket scopes up the earth and dump it onto a conveyor belt. Conveyor belts will transport the soil to other vehicles for removal to the dumping site. This giant monstrosity can move over 8.5 million cubic feet of earth per day. To put that in perspective, that is the equivalent of digging a hole the length of a football field and over 80 feet deep in a day. The Bagger 293 is also used in a brown coal mining and requires a crew of five to operate. SLJ 932 also known as the Iron Monster, this colossal bridge girder erection machine was made by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company. It is a 580-ton, 300-foot-long and 24-foot-wide mega machine that looks more like a train than a crane and acts a lot like a Stretch Armstrong action figure. If you're wondering how this machine works, the machine works by picking up precast sections of concrete from the casting yard, lowering its support structure to stabilize itself and then extending out to the first pillar. It then slowly drives forward, carrying the beam along with it, and lowers it into place between the starting point and the first column. Once the beam is secured, the machine backs up, taking the two portable support structures with it. The Iron Monster has 64 wheels supporting it split up between four sections of 16 wheels each. Each of the sections can rotate up to 90 degrees that lets the machine drive sideways for easy maneuvering. It has been used in various large construction projects, including the construction of the longest road rail steel arch bridge project in the Yiban Jinsha River Railway Bridge. Fractum Breaker 
Manufactured by the Danish company Fractum, the breaker is a powerful hammer designed to break rocks, steel waste, and reinforced concrete. The breaker can deliver up to 400,000 kilojoules of energy in a single stroke, which is at least 15 times stronger than the largest hydraulic hammer in the market. The breaker consists of a hammerhead that is lifted to the top of a tube and then released to freefall onto the material to be broken, releasing kinetic energy that weakens and eventually breaks the material. The breaker is mounted on hydraulic excavators and can be taken directly to where they are needed. Fractum has four breaker models on offer, with energy levels ranging from 80,000 joules to 300,000 joules depending on the task. Ponza Ergo A harvester in the forestry industry and true conqueror of jungle terrain, the Ergo Ponce cuts down trees and removes branches to make a nice clean log ready for hauling. It's available in six or eight wheel configurations. Both come with cabin suspension system to help dwindle down any potentially compromising inertia from lateral swings during operation. The eight wheels version is more suitable for difficult job sites with steep slope and demanding terrain. The machine stands between 2.63 and 3.9 meters with 600 millimeters of ground clearance. It weighs 21 and a half tons, powered by a 286 horsepower engine made by Mercedes-Benz and equipped with advanced transmission. The Ergo glides through steep ground like a tank. The telescopic crane is what makes the Ergo an impressive tree harvester. It can be folded away lower than the cabin itself, allowing for better maneuverability on the road. Crawler Transporter the Crawler Transporter is a massive vehicle used by NASA to transport spacecraft and rockets to the launch pad. This behemoth was designed and built by Marion Power Shovel Company, using some components designed and built by Rockwell International at a cost of $14 million. Upon its construction, the Crawler Transporter became the largest self-powered land vehicle in the world until it was beaten in 2013 with the production of the Ultra Heavy XGC 8000 Crawler Crane. Originally designed to carry the Saturn V rockets during the Apollo program, the crawler underwent upgrades to enable it to carry the heavier load of the newer generation moon rockets. The vehicle is able to transport 18 million pounds and have a mass of 6.6 .6 million pounds. The height from ground level to the platform is adjustable from 6.1 to 7.9 miles, and each side can be raised and lowered independently of the other. The vehicle moves at a speed of approximately 1 mile per hour and can take anywhere from 8 to 12 hours to travel the 4.2 mile distance from the vehicle assembly building to the launch pad. A 1 mile trip requires 126 gallons of diesel. Two 2500 gallon fuel tanks ensure the crawler makes the 16 hour, 8.4 mile round trip to launch pad.